Hello, here we are, post-match from Waikato versus Auckland that finished uh, 20 all. I'm here with Dwayne Sweeney, captain of Waikato. Uh, one of those games that you're kind of, uh, kind of disappointed because you had opportunities but didn't kind of quite pull them off in the end? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, you know both teams would have felt like they had a chance to, to win it at the end. But I, I suppose for me, we were, we, I felt that we had the upper hand most of the game. Um, yeah, and it, it was... I was probably more so disappointed that it came down that we had to win it at the end. But we talked about that and we knew we talked about having to go 80 minutes against Auckland and I don't know it ended up 86 minutes. But And we were still well and truly in the fight and ready to go. So it was um, yeah pretty disappointing not to get the win, but really happy with the performance. Being back up in the Premiership after uh, after winning the Championship last year, noticing any difference in the kind of uh, is, uh, extra physicality or uh, teams targeting you or anything like that? Um... Yeah, I'd, yeah, it's it's sort of it's it's a bit of a hard one because I just find that this you know our provincial competition in New Zealand is just so strong. Um, yeah, I, I to be honest, haven't noticed too much of a difference um, because we still we still played Auckland last year. We played Wellington, um, you know, so they're big physical teams. And um, yeah, it's and to be honest, like anybody could beat anybody on their day. Um, you know, even Southland, like they're doing it tough at the moment, but they're only they're only 80 minutes away from you know um, pulling off a, a winning performance. So, and we know that everyone in this country is capable of that. Now, um, at the end of that first half, obviously uh, James Tucker got yellow carded, but uh, and we saw you on the side of the scrum. So, how much scrummaging have you? Uh, how much scrummaging practice have you put in this season? Uh, I haven't put any practice in this season, but I've done a fair bit over the over my career because um, obviously being a midfielder. Normally, if you if you lose someone, um, the, the, one of the midfielders goes on the side, and I've been tasked with that a few times over my career. So I kind of know what I'm doing, but not really. I just push real hard and keep encouraging. Uh, it was Ollie today. I was on Ollie's side, so kept encouraging him just to, to stay in it. And yeah, I think we managed to actually do all right in those couple of scrums. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely fine. I was wondering uh, they, they, whether they should put you at seven on the open side because then you can get a bit faster. <laughs> you could have broken out and, and, and uh, nailed, the, nailed the fly half. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm, I was pretty happy that they didn't run short side because I didn't actually really know what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking about Ollie, uh, got a try in the opening minutes. Unfortunately, I was down here doing... Uh, post-match interviews for the Farrah Palmer Cup yep. but yeah not often for a prop I mean, that's two two games on the trot now you've had a prop with the first first um, first try yeah yeah well, I think um, our, our forwards are playing really well up front around the field um, you know like it's been talked about the scrum but I, you know I back them they're doing the work they're getting it and they're just going to get better and better like Ollie's 19 20 years old like yeah, and he hasn't been playing prop that long. He's a converted Lucy, so he's competing at this level. That's pretty impressive at his age, and he's, he's doing an outstanding job for us around the field. So how does it feel actually now when you've got, so, so you just said he's, he's like 18, 19, you've got River Rayana under, eight, under, under, under 19s. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a, few, a few younger guys, and it's, uh, as I say, you're coming up towards uh, that 100 caps. You've been around a while now, so how does it feel sort of still putting it to the young guys? Oh, I don't know if I'm still putting it to them, just trying to keep up, to be honest. But no, it's, um, I suppose it, it, it's pretty humbling to... Um, I've had an awesome um, support network throughout my career with um, you know, my family and, and, and friends, and I've had some great um, team environments to be involved with, so I've had some awesome um, trainers and, and everything and coaches, so that you know, they, they play a big part of me still being able to play at 35 now, I think I qualify for Golden Oldies <laughs> officially Ooh. as of uh, a few few weeks ago. So um, yeah, it's pretty pretty humbling that I can still be out there and, and contribute. Um, but you know, I just I love learning. I love um, you know those young. You talk about the young guys, but you can always learn something off them. Um, you, know, you know, they look at things a little bit differently than than what I do, or definitely compared to what I did at that age. Um, so yeah, no, it's I'm I'm enjoying it. Great. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, yeah, many more years of rugby ahead. <laughs> cool, thank you. Uh, to get more uh, behind the scenes chats, uh, then click on patreon.com forward slash driving more in the tweet above uh, and help support the channel. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.